Oh, wow. Well, it was our four year anniversary and it was during lockdown. He'd set up like candles and an outdoor cinema. Um, very like, I mean, no, it was it was something wow, out of a movie. Like, Andre, wow. <laughs> see, it's what I'm saying. He does have it in him. It's it was sick. stunning. No, yeah, he absolutely smashed it. And then we was watching this movie and then it cut out. And then there was like pictures of us. It was playing our song. And then the screen changed to Will You Marry Me? And he was on one knee. <gasps> and I was like, yes, I'm going to marry you. Andre, how long did it take you to plan it? <laughs> I was planning it for ages, but we weren't supposed to be in lockdown, so I had to. Oh, so did your plans improvise. have to? Oh, yes. I was about to say, did your yeah. plans? Did you have to improvise on the plans? Yeah, yeah, massively. Hmm. But her sister helped me a lot. Huh. So you just yeah. answered my next question. I was about to say, did you have any help, <laughs> you have any help and support? Yes, yes. Uh, I had to. I wondered. Otherwise, yeah, I would, you wouldn't have been. You wouldn't have been as. <laughs> flamboyant otherwise so well just as well she helped then because it was yes. magical but if i'm honest i still can't believe that i'm actually engaged i literally look at my hand sometimes i'm like oh my god he did it yeah it's crazy and he's he smashed it like it's just what i wanted so yeah he's a good one and he did <laughs> I don't think you're gonna fit. Um, if you call cracking an egg in my face annoying, then yes. And what else did you do? Try to um, suction my lips with Hoover. Mm. Um, yeah. Me and Andre met in, in Marbs, Marbella, um, in a club. <laughs> Um, and it was love at first sight, so yeah, that's always good.
A little finger monkey. <laughs> yeah, um, you know I'm not good with words, but I probably don't tell you every day, but it's how much you inspire me and, and how much I see you inspire everybody else. Um, and how everyone around you looks up to you. And don't change for nobody. Oh. See you at home. Oh. <laughs> I think the thing that I love about... Andre's love <laughs> is the fact that he's very calming and laid back like I have been in relationships in the past where it's just like constant arguing and there's just something so powerful about a black couple like just mm. just so powerful yeah and it needs to be celebrated more yeah I just think you can have that conversation with each other and someone that will actually get it and understand it so when when we're in a situation that we we have been for so many years at least you can come home to someone and actually have a conversation with you where yeah. they really completely understand the way you feel. For instance, someone with mental health and someone that hasn't, to try and speak to to someone and explain to them, they'll never understand it until mm. they actually feel it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So to have that is, is strong. To share a, a culture as well, like, together and, like, sort of celebrate our culture together, I think is it's really special. Bubbers are in good hands, they've got their milk supply. So, yeah. Mum's All I want to do is want to eat to And everyone in here knows their names, they know what they are, they know who they are, and when they grow up, they're just like you. Thank you and happy birthday.